ivory trade has been the leading cause of rampant elephant poaching in Africa. In Mana Pools National Park in northern Zimbabwe, a UNESCO World Natural Heritage Site and one of the finest wildlife areas in Africa, a stray African elephant is in danger of being hunted at any time. The elephant has just been identified as the matriarch of a herd, and Nia Kumba, a senior wildlife conservation official in Mana Pools National Park, must find it before the poachers. He will put a satellite tag around the elephant's neck so he can track the herd's movement. However, the park covers 2,196 square kilometers and boasts a wide range of animals, including elephants, rhinos, lions, over 350 bird species and aquatic life, which means spotting the elephant is not an easy job. Resources were very limited. The likes of vehicles, our boats. Zhang and his teammates from Beijing Peaceland Foundation a non-governmental organization for wildlife conservation and emergency rescue, were the first participants in the joint anti-poaching program between China and Zimbabwe since 2015. This time, they brought an inflatable boat and a powered hang glider to assist Niakumba. Together with Zhang and his volunteer peers, Nia Kumba finally spotted the elephant some 20 kilometers away from the point of departure. Luckily, the elephant was safe and sound. The rescue operation took place in May 2018, and by May 2019, the Sino Zine Wildlife Foundation has initiated eight joint anti poaching missions that involved 60 people since its establishment in 2015. The foundation echoed the Chinese government's position on wildlife protection and conservancy. Today, the world is coping with an unprecedented spike in the illegal wildlife trade. If no measures are taken, the African elephant, the largest land mammal on earth that is the target of the illegal ivory trade, would be on the brink of functional extinction in the next 10 to 20 years. On July 30th, 2015, the United Nations adopted the first ever resolution to fight smuggling of wild animals titled Resolution on Tackling Illicit Trafficking in Wildlife. All 193 UN member countries have committed to scaling up efforts to end the poaching and illegal trade on wildlife. Two months later, both Chinese and U.S. presidents promised to end their respective domestic ivory trades as part of the international contribution towards reducing the poaching crisis and saving elephants. On December 30, 2016, China declared a complete stop to the domestic ivory trade within a year. Since January 1, 2018, ivory trade has been banned nationwide. So the African elephant is not in the clear yet, but it's certainly the crisis is now on the decline, uh, and in some countries the populations are rebounding, uh, and that's very positive. Endangered species could become extinct 100 times faster than previously thought, scientists warned, 
adding that the Earth is likely to be amid the sixth mass extinction. Human activities, such as illegal poaching, habitat destruction, and climate change are all responsible for it. More importantly, halting biodiversity loss was inscribed on the list of UN 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Saving wildlife is saving ourselves. Sharing the earth with other forms of life, we humans cannot isolate ourselves from the rest of Mother Nature. It is our urgent obligation and commitment to work together and save wildlife, including the elephant, from extinction.